Hey guys, are you ready to finally say goodbye to those flabby arms and hello to toned sculpted muscles? We're diving into my top 5 exercises to slim down your arms fast. No equipment needed, just you and your determination. These exercises are designed to target your biceps, triceps, and shoulders, giving you that defined look you've been working towards. Not only will these exercises help you achieve that sculpted look, but they'll also improve your strength and stability. Get ready to feel the burn and see amazing results. Remember, consistency is key, so let's crush this workout together. Let's start with arm circles to warm up those shoulders and get the blood flowing. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, nice and tall. Extend your arms straight out to the sides, keeping them at shoulder height. Start making small circles forward, about the size of a softball. Keep those circles controlled, no swinging those arms. We're going to do this for 30 seconds, then switch directions. Now reverse the circles and go backwards for another 30 seconds. Feel that burn in your shoulders? That's what we want. Arm circles are a great way to activate those muscles and get ready for the next exercise. Keep breathing and stay focused. You're doing great. Now let's target those triceps with some dips. This exercise is fantastic for sculpting the back of your arms and building upper body strength. It's simple yet effective and you can do it almost anywhere. Find a sturdy chair or bench and place it behind you. Make sure it's stable and won't move during the exercise. Safety first. Sit on the edge of the chair with your hands gripping the edge, shoulder width apart. Your fingers should be pointing forward and your palms should be flat on the surface. Walk your feet out a couple of steps so your hips are in front of the chair, your legs should be extended and your heels should be touching the ground. This position will help you maintain balance and proper form. Lower your body down by bending your elbows until they're at a 90 degree angle. It's important to control your movement and avoid any sudden drops. This will ensure that your muscles are working effectively and reduce the risk of injury. Keep your back close to the chair and make sure your elbows are pointing straight back. This will help you target the triceps more effectively and maintain proper alignment. Now, push yourself back up to the starting position, engaging those triceps. That's one rep. Make sure to fully extend your arms at the top of the movement to maximize the contraction in your triceps. We're aiming for 12 to 15 reps. This range is ideal for building strength and endurance in your triceps. If you're new to this exercise, start with fewer reps and gradually increase as you get stronger. If you're feeling strong, you can do more. Challenge yourself, but listen to your body. It's important to push your limits, but not to the point of overexertion. Remember to keep your core engaged throughout the exercise. This will help you maintain stability and support your lower back. A strong core is essential for overall fitness and will enhance your performance in other exercises as well. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale as you lower your body and exhale as you push back up. Proper breathing will help you maintain rhythm and provide your muscles with the oxygen they need. After completing your set, take a moment to stretch your triceps. This will help reduce muscle tension and improve flexibility. Hold each stretch for about 15, 30 seconds. As you get more comfortable with tricep dips, you can try different variations to keep things interesting. For example, you can elevate your feet on another chair or add weight to increase the difficulty. Great job! Tricep dips are a fantastic way to build strength and tone your arms. Keep practicing and you'll see amazing results. Remember, consistency is key. Keep pushing yourself and enjoy the journey to stronger, more defined arms. Push-ups, the ultimate arm toner. Push-ups are one of the most effective exercises for toning your arms, and they come with a host of other benefits too. They not only work your arms, but also engage your chest, shoulders, and core, making them a fantastic full-body workout. Time to hit the floor for some push-ups. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned fitness enthusiast, push-ups can be tailored to suit your fitness level. They are versatile and can be done anywhere, anytime, without any equipment. Don't worry, we can do this. Push-ups might seem challenging at first, but with practice you'll build strength and endurance. Remember, every rep counts towards your fitness goals. Get into a plank position with your hands shoulder width apart, directly below your shoulders. This is your starting position. Ensure your body forms a straight line from your head to your heels. Proper form is crucial to avoid injury and maximize the effectiveness of the exercise. Keep your body in a straight line from head to toe, engaging your core. Engaging your core helps stabilize your body and prevents your hips from sagging. Imagine pulling your belly button towards your spine to keep your core tight. Lower your body down by bending your elbows until your chest almost touches the floor. Go slow and controlled. This phase of the push-up is where you build strength in your chest and triceps. 
Focus on maintaining a straight line from your head to your heels. Make sure your elbows are slightly tucked in, not flared out. This positioning helps protect your shoulders and engages your triceps more effectively. Think of your elbows making a 45 degree angle with your body. Now push yourself back up to the starting position, feeling the burn in your chest, shoulders, and triceps. That's one rep. Each push-up should be done with control and focus. Feel the muscles working and embrace the burn. Aim for 8 to 10 reps or as many as you can do with good form. Remember, quality over quantity. It's better to do fewer reps with perfect form than to do more reps with poor form. As you get stronger, you can gradually increase the number of reps. If you're new to push-ups, you can modify them by doing them against a wall or on your knees. These modifications reduce the intensity of the exercise, making it more accessible while still providing a great workout. As you build strength, you can progress to full push-ups on the floor. Wall push-ups are a great starting point. Stand a few feet away from a wall, place your hands on the wall at shoulder height, and perform the push-up motion. This variation is perfect for beginners or those with wrist issues. Knee push-ups are another excellent modification. Start in a plank position but with your knees on the ground. This reduces the weight you need to lift, making the exercise easier while still engaging your upper body and core. You can also try inclined push-ups by placing your hands on a bench or a sturdy elevated surface. This variation is slightly more challenging than wall push-ups, but still easier than standard push-ups. For those looking to increase the difficulty, decline push-ups are a great option. Place your feet on an elevated surface like a bench or step and perform the push-up motion. This variation targets your upper chest and shoulders more intensely. Diamond push-ups are another advanced variation. Place your hands close together under your chest, forming a diamond shape with your thumbs and index fingers. This targets your triceps and inner chest muscles more intensely. Wide push-ups where your hands are placed wider than shoulder width apart, emphasize your chest muscles more. This variation can help build a broader chest and improve overall upper body strength. For an explosive challenge, try plyometric push-ups. Push yourself up with enough force to lift your hands off the ground, then catch yourself and lower back down. This variation builds power and explosiveness in your upper body. Push-ups with a clap are another plyometric variation. Push yourself up explosively and clap your hands before catching yourself and lowering back down. This adds an element of coordination and increases the intensity of the exercise. For those looking to add extra resistance, try push-ups with a weighted vest. This increases the load on your muscles, making the exercise more challenging and helping to build strength and muscle mass. No matter which variation you choose, always prioritize good form. Proper technique ensures you get the most out of your workout and reduces the risk of injury. Keep practicing, stay consistent, and watch your strength and endurance improve over time. Push-ups are a fantastic exercise for building upper body strength and toning your arms. With so many variations, you can keep your workouts interesting and challenging. So, get down on the floor and start pushing your way to stronger, more toned arms. Plank Taps Engage your core and arms Welcome to this invigorating chapter where we will dive deep into the world of plank taps, an exercise that not only challenges your stability but also strengthens your arms and core. Let's challenge our stability and work those arms even more with plank taps. This exercise is perfect for those looking to add a dynamic twist to their regular plank routine. By incorporating taps, we introduce an element of balance and coordination, making it a full body workout. Start in a high plank position, hands shoulder width apart, core engaged. Ensure your wrists are directly under your shoulders and your fingers are spread wide for better stability. Your feet should be hip width apart to provide a solid base. Maintain a straight line from head to toe just like in a regular plank. Imagine a straight line running from the crown of your head to your heels. This alignment is crucial to avoid any unnecessary strain on your lower back. Now lift your right hand and tap your left shoulder, keeping your core tight. This movement requires you to shift your weight slightly, but try to minimize any rocking of your hips. Return your right hand to the ground and repeat on the other side, tapping your right shoulder with your left hand, that's one rep. As you alternate sides, focus on maintaining that straight line and keeping your movements controlled. Aim for 10 to 12 reps, alternating sides. If you're new to this exercise, start with fewer reps and gradually increase as you build strength and stability. Remember to keep your hips as still as possible and avoid swaying. Engaging your core muscles will help stabilize your body and prevent any unnecessary movement. 
This exercise is a great way to engage your core, shoulders, and arms simultaneously. Not only does it build strength, but it also enhances your coordination and balance. Plank taps are an excellent addition to any workout routine, whether you're a beginner or an advanced fitness enthusiast. They can be done anywhere, anytime, making them a versatile and effective exercise. So, let's get tapping and feel the burn in those muscles. Arm pulses, tone and define. Last but not least, let's finish strong with some arm pulses. This exercise is perfect for a quick arm workout. Stand tall with your feet shoulder width apart, core engaged and ready to go. Extend your arms straight out to the sides at shoulder height, keeping them steady. Keep your palms facing down and your shoulders relaxed, avoiding any tension. Now pulse your arms up and down in small, controlled movements, feeling the burn. You should feel this in your shoulders and upper arms working those muscles. Keep those pulses going for 30 seconds, maintaining good posture and form. Remember to breathe and engage your core throughout the exercise, staying focused. This is a great way to tone and define those arm muscles, making them stronger. You did it! Time to show off those arms! Great job, everyone! You crushed that workout! Remember, consistency is key when it comes to seeing results. Aim to do these exercises three to four times a week, and don't be afraid to challenge yourself as you get stronger. A common mistake people make is not engaging their core during these exercises. Make sure you're keeping your abs tight to protect your lower back and maximize those results. You've got this. Keep pushing yourself, stay consistent, and you'll be amazed at the transformation in your arms. Now tell me, which exercise are you excited to try first? Let us know in the comments below.